listen to me for just about two minutes. One of the greatest blessings in my life is to be the cabinet secretary for education and to have the opportunity to interact with you every day. You are all such lovely and wonderful kids and I thank God for all of you. Now, we are here today because we are advancing. We, we've already launched the program. We are rolling out the program of distributing devices across the country. We are doing this within only two weeks. In two weeks, we will roll out this program in all proof of concept schools and we will distribute about 12,000 devices in 150 schools in the country. We have selected these schools very carefully. Three schools per county. One in an urban area, one in a very urban area, and one in a rural area. And then we have selected nine special schools, total 150 schools in the country where we are rolling this out. And we want to do this within the next two weeks, which means you are going to see a lot of activity. Uh, from next week, you will see several cabinet secretaries uh, in various parts of the country doing what I am doing here today. My other colleagues who are here have been scheduled to be in other parts of the country from next week to ensure that we actually roll out this program. It is critical, it's important for all of us, and as the Honorable Member of Parliament said, the President and the Deputy President are keeping the promise they made to Kenyan children. And as government, we are determined to do this. I want to emphasize only two things. We are doing this, and we are calling it Digital Literacy Program, because we now want to change the manner in which we deliver educational content. The focus really is on the content and how we deliver it, not on the devices. And we have ensured that the content is available on what you may describe broadly as a universal platform, as Robert Mugwa will tell you as an ICT person, which means you can access this content using any other device. The tablet is one device, the smartphone is another device, uh, and soon in areas where we have begun to roll out 4G LTE, you can very easily access the content even on your TV screen, as it were. The way the world is going is that we must prepare our children for the 21st century environment to compete, and I agree with what Robert said, to compete favorably with children from any other part of the world. On our side as the Ministry of Education, we have digitized content for Standard 1 and Standard 2, and the process is now going on. We want to make sure that ultimately we upload all content onto the Education Cloud so that content is available electronically, even in secondary schools, as we move forward, because we must change the manner in which we deliver content in our schools. The second point I want to mention is that we have been training teachers in April alone our contractors, our, our partnering institutions, the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology and Moi University began the process of uh, inducting teachers, 300 teachers in Juja, in Eldoret <coughs> and in Mombasa. And now in partnership with the Teacher Service Commission, we are going to speed up the process and ensure that we have as many teachers as possible prepared to deliver content on a digital platform. This program requires all of us and that's why I am so happy about the Member of Parliament for this place. The Honourable Members of Parliament have been working with us and they are going to continue working with us through the CDF and the work they do. My colleagues in the Ministry of Energy are connecting a power to all schools. Our colleagues from the Office of the Attorney General are dealing with uh, the legal issues of tenders and stuff like that. That is them. My colleague Adam Mohammed, the Cabinet Secretary for Industrialization, they are looking at how we can now move from uh, here to begin producing the devices ourselves in our country. We need so many devices, uh, you know, in, in, in Kenya, because we want to make sure that everyone who's going to be within the education system now and in the future is able to access content this way. You know what our universities are doing, and one of them is here. We are so proud of Jomo Kenyatta uh, University of Agriculture and Technology. Not just for this particular activity they're working with us. I know there are many other activities they have done in facilitating the manner in which we learn in schools, advancing knowledge, growing the way in which we teach our children. So this is very important for us. My fellow teachers who are here and my fellow parents who are listening to me and members of the school committee, this program requires all of us 
we must now change the way in which we do things. Parents who are here, who are listening to me, the best gift you can buy your child is a digital device. Uh, in December, during their birthdays and everything else, if your child is not in standard one or standard two and benefiting from this, if they are in standard eight, uh, the best gift you can give them is a digital device so that they can learn the new ecosystem, the new environment of accessing knowledge. That's the way we are going. Don't buy them bread only. Buy them a digital device also, in addition to the bread, so that as we move forward, uh, our children are used to accessing knowledge, accessing educational content in, in a modern way. Government has put resources in building an education cloud with the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development. We have put 200 million shillings now. We have proposed to Parliament uh, some more money in the next year's budget. Subject to Parliament approving and agreeing with us and giving us more resources, we will continue to strengthen our capacity as government and the Ministry of Education to ensure that we avail content on a digital platform, as it were. So we are grateful. And I want to thank all my colleagues who are here, who have worked with us, my colleagues from across government. I can see colleagues from the Ministry of ICT who are here, Rono and company, Robert, in your team. My colleagues from the Office of the Attorney General, the Ministry of Industrialization and Enterprise Development, the Ministry of Energy, who have ensured that we have connected all our schools because they need power to be able to use these devices. And I thank Mwishimua on, 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 on behalf of your colleagues and please encourage members of parliament to join us because we are going to be across the country in the next two weeks to ensure that we are in all 150 schools. The deadline the president gave us is that he wants us to ensure that in the next two weeks uh, all proof of concept schools have begun using the devices. We are doing the best we can to keep the president's uh, deadline and that's why we are going to deploy across the country. You will see so many of my colleagues in cabinet principal secretaries and others going elsewhere in the country to ensure that all the 160 schools, uh, you know, are sorted out. And I hope members of parliament will come with us, senators and the others. Lastly, my colleagues from the provincial administration, the deputy county commissioner spoke here uh, about security of the devices. Uh, you are our critical partners in this, in not just securing the devices, but also securing our children and our teachers uh, as we go along. Please let us work together as we've always worked. Uh, our partnership with the Minister of Interior has been fantastic. So we hope that as we go along in terms of the security of the devices, using your very expansive infrastructure from the DCC to the chiefs, the assistant chiefs and all the village elders to be sure that the devices are safe, they are used for what we want them to be used, and then we encourage our children. So we are so happy to be in your school today. And now, after this, we'll go to standard one. And don't follow us there if you are not standard one. <laughs> <laughs> because we want to go and see what's happening. But we'll come back again, Madame Monsieur, uh, for other things uh, in this school. We are so impressed. And in fact, every time I go to a school, I feel like staying there the whole day. But they, they, they are so beautiful and nice kids. And they all look so sweet and nice. So we, we, we wish you all the best. And uh, may God bless you as you work hard, and we are going to continue supporting you as government as we go along. With all my colleagues you have seen here from education, PS, team, uh, County Com uh, Director of Education, Water, including the DEO, who today got his route. Because the other time I went to his school, he found me there. He did not find me. But today he knew the route to the school, which is good. Okay. Asante Sana. So we can now go to class. Uh,